Joe Snedeker is back on the road this year, meeting so many of you thrilled to see the Go Joe ride has returned. Happy to be supporting Joe's effort. All right, so hello to Colt now. Thanks for coming out. No, no, it's got pleasure. Pleasure. But while you see Joe on the bike on TV all week, he'd rather you focus on Colin Nichols and the many people helped by St. Joseph Center. There's SpongeBob, right? Yeah, there's SpongeBob. We met Colin at his new home. He moved into the center in the middle of the pandemic back in September. Just imagine the tough choice for his mom and dad, Denise and Ed, struggling with the realization they needed help with care. As his parent, his mom, I, you know, it was hard to say trust somebody. Are they going to do a good a job as I can do or his dad can do? And that was the difficult part. On top of that, shortly after he moved here, COVID forced St. Joe's to keep all visitors out, even parents. Obviously, you got to uh, see him on Zoom, but it wasn't the same. Uh, the last time we saw him, I think, was just before Halloween last year until April of this year in person. But on those Zoom calls, mom and dad saw Colin was starting to thrive. It's nice to see the bonds they made together, and especially him. He's so expressional when a certain client walks in or comes into his room. He gets so happy, and it's just, you just know that, like, you just made their day. Mail time. Look at the smile on Colin's face when his primary caregiver, Sarah Kane, sang about mail time. Mail. And put it right here with you. That's no because his job is the center's mailman, and he loves it. When visits resume, his parents saw Colin is now part of a big St. Joe's family. I knew things were great with him because he would see me for like the first 20 minutes and he's like, okay, I'm ready to go now. Goodbye, mom. <laughs> I was like, okay, great, thanks. But that's awesome. You know, at first I, I probably cried, but then people were like, yeah, but that means he has his life, which that's what St. Joe's gave him. The COVID challenges couldn't stop the St. Joseph Center mission, caring for those with severe physical and emotional challenges. As crazy as the world is right now and everything going on, it's nice to come in here and see the smile that you bring to their face. This is one week we get to celebrate having such a special place in our community. Go, 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 go. A celebration that revolves around this guy riding his bike. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road.